welcome viewers to the first episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the August 2023 Mathematics Year Paper 1. So, in this series of episodes, we're going to cover each and every question extensively. So, once you finish watching this video, go to our YouTube channel and we'll find other episodes. Just check for the playlist that will contain all the episodes on it. This paper that will analyze and answer each question to the details. Remember, the focus of this channel is to help you understand the principles, not memorize the answers. So, without wasting much of your time, let us dive straight into question one. Evaluate 3 to the power 2 plus 3 to the power negative 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 0. So, the key thing that you need to do is expand these. So, the key principles that you need to bear in mind under indices is if you have m less to the power n or say m is x, this means you are going to multiply m by itself up to how many times? n times. So, up to n times. So, such that the last one should be m n. Then, if you have m which this can also be x to the power n, this is the same, so m can be x. So if I say x to the power, where x is a number, negative n. So if the power is negative number, it means it's a 1 divided by, by x raised to the power n. So if x to the power negative 2, this is the same as 1 over x to the power 2 square. That's what it means. Then anything less to the power 0 is, is equal to 1. Whether it's 100 to the power 0 is equal to 1. Those are the key principles that you need to know. So having known that, let me just now simplify this question. So 3 to the power 2 means 3 multiplied by 3 twice. Then plus, we come to this one. So that one is the same as 1 over 3 to the power 1 because the power is 0. 1 but t is negative so because it's negative so it's 1 over 3 to the power 1 then multiply by 2 to the power 0 remember I said anything less to the power 0 is 1 then we expand 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 over 3 because anything less to the power 1 is itself then times 1 then at this point we just add so what we are going to have is 9 plus 1 over 3, which is the same as 9, because this is over 1, or I simplify so that I don't lose you, so the common denominator is 3, so 3 times 9, because 1 into 3 is 3, is 27, then plus 3 into 3 is a 1 plus 1, this is going to give me 28 over 3. We divide by that, you're going to end up with 9 one third, which is just the same as adding these. When you add these, you're going to get 9 one third like that. So once you do that, you come and write your answer here in your paper nicely, then you get the 2 marks. Let us look at question 2. Simplify 2 multiplied by open bracket x plus 3y minus 3 open bracket 4x minus 2 close bracket. So this question is one of the most common questions that usually come every year. So what you need to do here is you need to watch out for brackets and negatives. So how do you approach this question? So what you need to do is expand step by step. So the first thing is we multiply 2 by this one. So it will become 2x. Then we move to the next one, which will be 2 multiplied by this one. So because it's a positive in between, it will be plus 2 multiplied by 3y. Then we move to the next stage, where now we are done with the first thing explosion so we are here now so it will be now this one multiplied by that one so this is a negative so it will be negative 3 multiplied by 4x like I said wash out for the signs and brackets then next you move to negative 3 because it's multiplying by this or thing 
so it will be again negative 3 multiply by negative 2 once you do that then you are good to go so we have 2x here then 2 multiplied by 3y is plus 6y then we have this is a 4 which is 4x so negative 3 multiplied by 4x we have negative 12x then negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 because negative times negative it becomes a positive so we have positive 6 remember positive times positive we get a positive then negative times positive we end up with a negative so negative times negative we end up with positive so if the signs are the same it's positive if the signs are different you see negative at this point is just to collect the like terms we know that this and this are alike so we're going to have 6 y then plus 2x so this x it comes this side then minus 12 we are collecting the like term then plus 6 then we're going to have 6y 2x minus 12x will remain with negative 10x then plus 6 so once you do this you are okay to go you can leave it at this stage or if you want you can factor out a 2 because this 2 can go into both so it will it will be 2 into 6y to be 3y then minus 5x then plus 3 like this any of these will be correct so I'll go with the simplified one which will be 2 3y minus 5x then plus 3 once you do this you get the 2 max let us look at question 3 factorize completely 3x square minus 27 so if you look at this question this question is one of the most common question which comes in an exam so the principle remains the same the one thing that changes are the numbers so the easiest way to answer this question is first of all to look at the common factor between this expression and this expression the first and the second expression so you notice that 3 can go into 3x square and it 3 can also go into negative 27 so I'm going to factor out 3 so we're going to have 3 outside 3 into 3x square would mean if x square 3 into negative 29 is negative 9 now this expression is equal to 0 so the same expression can be written as 3x square plus 0x minus 9 equals 0 you notice that these two are the same and they are nothing but a quadratic equation which is the standard form a x square plus b x plus c equals zero then in this case a so i'm going to focus on what is in the brackets because i've already factored out three so since i've already factored out three the focus is what is in the bracket so i have this then in that case a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 then c equals negative 9 so if i look at this one it even becomes much more easier so i'll be looking at the product so the product is equal to negative 9 which is nothing but this one then the sum is equal to 0 which is this one then what are the factors so the moment the sum is equal to 0 we are looking at the perfect square so just look at the square root of 9 so the square root of 9 is a 3 so because the sum is 0 1 should be positive 1 should be negative so the second one will be negative such that negative 3 multiplied by positive 3 is negative 9 negative 3 plus 3 is 0 so whenever there is 0 we replace it with these two so we're going to have 3 outside We've already factored it out so x square i'm going to start let me start with a negative so that it's easier for me to factorize so negative 3 x then plus 3 x minus 9 so this whole thing is equal to zero then we have three outside then 
what is common between this and this is x so x let me use a different column so we have x into x square is x x into negative 3 x is negative 3 then what is common between this one and this one i'm going to use a different column use the black one it's a 3 so it's a positive so 3 into 3 x is x 3 into negative 9 is 3 so what is key is ensuring that these two they are the same if they're different we've made a mistake then after that three out the way it is so this and this is common so i'm going to say minus three okay so x minus three then into this one i remain with x then into this one i remain with three like that so what you are going to have this is the factorized version of that so at that point i'll just write it neatly now where the answer is supposed to be so it will be three outside then x minus three then x plus three once you do that you get the two max so what is key is ensuring that these two should be the same if these two are different you've made a mistake so this is how you answer this question to get the two marks.